So no I, I hope that I will manage in in six minutes. So I prepared okay. some Good. some uh, pictures to show. So I will also try to uh, share my screen. So first of all, I just want to make uh, a bit of an advertisement for not just Lean and my book, but also my two other books, The Market Myth, and perhaps especially The World We Create, because I think both of them are relevant to this uh, building efforts that we are all interested in. So uh, my foundation that I founded 10 years ago is called E-Credit Foundation, or the Oak Island Foundation. And we have our own island out in the Stockholm archipelago, about uh, two hours away from central Stockholm where we have activities all uh, around the year. But during summer, the island is dedicated to our youth camps. So during summer, we have back-to-back -back two weeks youth camps with uh, uh, about uh, 25 participants in each youth camp and perhaps 10 up to 15 uh, leaders in, in the camp. We have these camps since 10 years, and during the last five years, we are also having camps in other locations in, in Sweden. Um, th this is what it can look like uh, uh, during the summer. Uh, the age group is around 14 to uh, uh, 16. We also have youth camps for the 17 to uh, 18, but our main focus is between 14 and 16. Uh, the camps are very much youth-led, so most of the leaders are just a few years older than the participants, and those young leaders are responsible for organizing and planning and also running the camps. And then we have perhaps two, three, or four older leaders, but their task is mainly to support the younger leaders in their uh, development, and it's a little bit more in the background during uh, the, the camps. And um, you could say that the camps are all about uh, starting a, a building uh, journey through, throughout life. Uh, the language we use within the organization, though, uh, we talk about transformative learning. And uh, transformative learning, just like building, is more about how we know things than what we know. And of course, not just by knowing, but also how we are acting and how we are being. Uh, the way we go about achieving transformative learning is that we, first of all, we spend the first couple of days uh, during the camps to create a safe and trustful holding environment. We create a safe community. And we do this through summer games and play. And the whole camps are very, very uh, uh, playful throughout the time. And once this safe and trustful environment has been created, uh, then we try to create immersive experiences and exercises to challenge a little bit our ways of knowing, acting, and being. And based on those challenges, we, we have trustful group conversations where we get an opportunity to explore new perspectives on ourselves, others, and the world. And uh, a key sentence or a key expression for the camps is really uh, these curious exploratory conversations that take place in a trusted environment. And this is what it, could, uh, what it could look like. It's a lot of circle, a lot of talking. We are using nature as a catalyst, both to create trust, to connect to nature, and also as a catalyst for, for individual inner transformation. And that, that is equally true for the youth camp as for the retreats for adults that we are hosting during the rest of the year. Just to say a little bit on what we are actually trying to achieve. And I will do this from two dimensions. And one is perhaps more a matter of developing our hearts or our being. 
and the other one is a little bit developing our worldview, the way we look upon ourselves and society and the world. And if we start by looking at um, developing our heart, we are talking about transformative skills. And we have there five headings, and I will just read the headings. And those that are interested to know more, uh, I will point you to a source uh, very soon. So we are talking about developing our openness in times of rapid change and stress. Of course, it's easy for us to want to shut down, but we, we are actively encouraging the development of openness. The next one would be perspective seeking, to actively look for more perspectives. And then sense making and doing that on, on a more deeper level, trying to avoid our uh, standard sense making in terms of right and wrong, uh, us and them, black and white, but trying to see the world in more nuances and in more depth. And then, and this is, might be the most important part really at this age group, and that is to start developing your own inner compass, to start, at, at least start on the journey from being out to directed to really connected, connecting with yourself and finding your own inner compass and to become in developmental psychology language to start becoming self-authoring, or at least aiming towards self-authoring. And then finally, these transformative skills, they, they, they wouldn't be worth anything, these ones, if we wouldn't focus on compassion. And compassion and empathy, and there we are trying to both deepen our capacity for compassion, but also to widen the circles of, of belonging to, to the our capacity to include more and more people within the reach of our compassion. And you can say with these transformative skills, the, the, the good news is that science has shown conclusively that these skills can be developed, uh, both in, in childhood, both in adolescence and throughout our lives. Uh, so we are not born with a certain amount of compassion, no. Uh, but the bad news is that you can't teach them in, in a normal sort of school setting. They are transformative skills and they need this kind of immersive transformative learning that Bildo is all about. And for, for those of you who are interested in doing a bit of a deep dive into these transformative skills, my foundation has published a small booklet called On the Becoming of Conscious Co-Creators. And you can download that in PDF. Uh, from our website. And then finally, looking a little bit on our worldview, we are trying to at least point towards uh, expanding uh, the standard worldview that we have today and adopting new perspectives. And equally quick, what could that mean? Well, it could mean that we change the view of ourselves, going from a view of us as separated individuals to realizing that we are living in an interconnected world, and that we are all, all interconnected with each other and in relationship. When it comes to the world a view of the world, going from a world uh, from an analytical worldview of separate things to start re realizing that almost everything in the world is better viewed as processes. Life is a process. Culture is a process. The youth camp is a process and start introducing a little bit of systems thinking. The view of our mind, to realize that our mind is not as the Enlightenment philosophers have had us think, something rational and fixed like a machine, but something that is in a constant development throughout life, our building journey. View of society, starting to realize that society is socially constructed and that we actually have the both individual agency, but also collective agency to change this socially constructed society, to start to see the water that we are swimming in. And then finally, the world of our lives, 
to go from a focus of material success to a focus on purpose and meaning. And those who want to study these more deeply can download this little book again from our foundation's website. Thank you Thank very you. much.